Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of D&T MTG. I've got Tom with me again. Hello, the internet. Hi, internet. We're going to do some more fun stuff. So the last time that we did this, um, I might have um, damaged severely Tom's trust in me. You did a bad thing. I did. I'm so sorry for that. Um, in the world of magic, what you did was a criminal crime. The magic police are definitely on my tail. Yep, I'm, I I'm, imagine that you've been on the lamb since. I am recording from a hotel room. In fact, it's a motel. Um, I Holiday am... Inn. <laughs> if your girl starts acting up, then you bring her friends. That's what I'd heard. <laughs> so I have not shared my screen yet with Tom because I want to surprise him with uh, what I've built, what I have done. Um, whether that's a good thing or not, uh, I'll let Tom pick. But I feel I feel good about this. Um, so far, Tom knows that I intend to play Singleton. Mm-hmm. And I told him that I was going for Esper. So okay. For the, for I, the uninitiated, always... that is white, blue, and black, right? Yep. Good, because even if I was, even if I had fucked up and done wrong colors, we're going white, blue, black. Okay. All right. So, so Tom, I am about to share Magic Arena with you, and hopefully this works. Thomas. Okay. Do you, do you see the deck? I see you've called the deck single lady. I did. I I have built a deck that is entirely ladies on the on the artwork. That I'm okay with this actually. Um so so I figured Hold up, hold up. There's a there's just a straight up bird in there. Yeah, but but the bird's in a nest, so I'm assuming it's a mama bird. Oh, come on. You are stretching this very thin. Okay, so that was maybe that was one of maybe, maybe my stretches, but I, I put a bunch of ladies on there, and um, it, with a few exceptions. So uh, instead of putting a ring on it, I figured, why not artifacts? Okay. <laughs> so there is some sub-theme of artifacts in here. Um, but I did try to keep as many ladies as possible. So even like some of the instants and sorceries have mm -hmm. ladies. In fact, I don't even know if I got any sorceries. But there's definitely instants with ladies on there. Okay. So, you know, I got ladies. I got some pirates in here, some lady pirates. I got a, a, a metallic mimic so that I can choose. There is a type. lady on that artwork, exactly. Even if, it's, even if it's just in the foreground. Yep, and I can choose okay. creature type lady. Mm hmm. Um, and there's a big old diamond, you know, because if you if you like it, you better put a prophetic prism on it. <laughs> this is oh, this is going to go very badly indeed. Look, there's ladies everywhere. Mm hmm. Can I can I make a proposition? Hey, I look, I did put I did put a card that I heard you're a fan of. I love this card so <laughs> much. Just for this you, is, Tom. Thank you. Uh, everything is forgiven. This is going to be just fine. And I we have put... a okay. Good. All right. I'm okay with that. That one's good. And I I think that Chromium's a lady dragon. Uh, I'm not sure in the lore, but I'm going to look it up. In the meantime, however, <laughs> but, I am going to say this. I, I think we should replace the Glint Nest Crane with the Leonin Vanguard, because I'm pretty sure that's a lady cat warrior. Oh, this one? This lady? Yeah. Because she's not in the deck right now. I guess so. And that so. is definitely a lady compared to just a bird. Yeah, but the, the bird also helps me look for artifacts. <laughs> Okay. There we go. So so there is some synergy here. What you're telling me is you're willing to sacrifice your theme for a bird synergy. I prefer to say I stretch theme for synergy. Okay. I guess I guess it's acceptable. So now that we've done this and there's a quick quick uh, look at all my other decks. I got a lot of boys if you haven't noticed in my decks. Zomboys, boys, mill boys. I notice, but let's uh, let's go to uh, let's go to quick singleton. Single ladies is the only one available. 
Chromium is actually a man. Ah. <laughs> uh... He can transform into a human. I think he can choose how he transforms. Okay. Okay. We're just going to assume that he transforms into a lady when he so chooses. Absolutely. Okay. Well, let's... We're doing oh, it. Let's, let's run this travesty out. <laughs> hey, this one was done with a little bit more forethought. Yeah, th there couldn't be a lot less forethought in your defense. Yes. And and to be fair, the other than like the the chromium and the glintness, my creatures are all humans, so I do have that synergy. Okay, I think this is a good hand. I think so too. <laughs> so I, I, I think about this. this is something we want to keep. <laughs> I feel good about this. So are we gonna get that turn one Lanoir? No, ooh, implement. I don't see that much. No, not at all. Wow. Okay. okay. Um, I'm going to put out Unclaimed Territory, say Lady. <laughs> Hugh Woman. It says Lady. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Diamond Mare. I'm assuming he's going to green. Yep. That would make a lot of sense. And I assume that he's going to have some Vine Mares that are going to be uh, challenging. Uh, well, it is Singleton, so it can only be one of them. That's true. Uh... <laughs> I feel like I want to get out the mimic so I can start buffing my ladies. Absolutely. Hey, we got dog barking. Dog barking. All right, metallic mimic, choosing lady. Don't have a blue source though. Do have that unclaimed territory. You got an aether hub. I, That's I have that too. Source. Yeah, it's true. A guy, hey, you get that. Uh, I, I do do dislike this. The long tusk cub, yeah, not a fan. Not a fan of that. Fair and, enough. And he's making him a big boy too. Uh, what's the dire fleet poisoner do again? Uh, flashes in, gives somebody a plus one, plus one, and death touch, and she's got death touch. Okay, so maybe we just hold it up, and when he goes in for the long tusk cub attack, we just flash in the poisoner. That's what I'm feeling. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm just going to hold back this turn. I, I think that's the I think that's the move here, because that yeah. long test cub is going to be a real pain in the butt. Yes, you are correct, sir. And that means if he attacks with both, I can... Yeah, you do that. That's cool. Resolve. Absolutely. Keep on pumping that boy. Put more pants on that cat. <laughs> Come on, do it. Attack. Okay. Dope. Dope. Alright, so now I've got to... So is it not... Oh, it's when it deals combat damage. It gets the energy. Perfect. Mm-hmm. So I do that. Oh, and I don't get the plus one, plus one, because it's not... It's not attacking. Yeah, exactly, but... That's fine. You know, we can take one. I'm not overly worried about that. Yeah. That's not terrible. We got rid of that big boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, but he gets to keep on playing that. That is, ugh, that's garbage. That's in, a in that it's very good. Yeah, I mean, he's got to sink some, sink some resources into that, and I'm weirdly okay with him just mm -hmm. trying to get that back if that's how he wants to spend his turn. Okay, I'm going to play the tap land. That makes sense. We've only got really three drops right now, so... Yeah, now I'm trying to decide if I want to play the Forerunner to get another Pirate Lady to the top, or if I want to get an Artifact. Hmm. <sighs> uh, well, what Artifacts do we have that cost three or more? Um, uh, three or more? Is it... Oh, I thought it was... It's three. Th with oh, exactly three. Yeah. Which I got, got a number it. of them. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do Pirate Lady. Do Pirate Lady. And we got Hostage Taker, which is a good card. Uh, no. That is a very good card indeed. It's expensive, but we can pay for it. We can afford it, Tom. Yep. We've had a good We're year. We're worth it. 
There it is. Back to his That's hand. Fine. Yeah, I'm just I am just not overly worried about that at all. Yeah. If he really wants to spend all of his mana making something that we can easily block, I am okay with that. I know. I feel you, fam. Okay, so he's tapped do we, out. Do we want to get rid of his Highland game and let him just hit us for two with that mare? Yeah, I feel Because like... that, that way we don't have that two repeating damage coming in and mm -hmm. we'll be okay. Hmm, do I steal his hostage? Do I steal his diamond mare? I don't think that's the play. No, we, he probably has a bigger boy that we can play with absolutely so i think we play out our trophy mage uh actually no can we we could liliana in if yeah, we wanted to i think so and i think that way we just start generating some zomboys heck yeah zom gals uh, yeah i guess in the context of this they are zom gals exactly let's stay on theme <laughs> I brought some mummified he is like what is going on so, yep, yeah, let's pump up that. And we lost Evolving Wilds. Ah, uh, beans. That's okay. My 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 lady flag went No, away. I don't think we attack in. You don't? <laughs> I think we attack in with the Mimic, but not the oh, Forerunner. Well, well, Tom, you got me all frazzled. I'm sorry. <laughs> you, you gotta wait for me to work through all the things that I say. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. I'm fine with this. Yeah, me too. He's just slowly gaining life. Mm hmm All right, so... Do we want to bring back the Dire Fleet Poisoner? That's kind or... of what I was thinking. All right. Mm. Uh, does the Dire Fleet Poisoner put a plus one, plus one counter, or just give plus one, plus one to the end of the turn? It's just until the end until of the end turn. Of the turn. Okay. And it's only All right, so we, we don't have, we don't really have a way to do any fancy tricks to give our forerunner a plus one plus one off of that. Then yeah, I'm thinking maybe I put maybe I put the aviation out there so I get a flying flying lady. Yeah, and just let our uh, let ourselves start attacking in like that. Yeah. Now I think I I do pump up again. Yeah, I'm not worried about that, actually. Yeah. I think that's probably the way to go. What does he Another have that... Lost our two islands. Damn. I'm Gina. fine with that. <laughs> okay. Um, now, the question is, do I scry, or do I just leave this giant board up? Let's say, I say we play out the Omen Speaker and scry. Sounds good. There's no board wipes in green that I'm aware of, so... No, just some fights. Mm-hmm. But I've got so many ladies. Okay. Uh, I'm not, not excited about cancels. I'm not excited about it, but at the same time, we have the board pretty well locked up right now. Yeah, so maybe so, put, put that on I top think we, and island on back. Yeah, I think that's the. Mo Actually, do we need another island? Uh, not for, not for anything currently. For the cancel, we would though. You are correct, sir. Damn, you're so smart. I'm, I'm just aware of our board. Damn, <laughs> that Tom. That Tom. All right, so. I don't think there's any reason to attack because... I don't think so either. We just hold back, and then we can send in a whole bunch of the team. Sounds good. Bristling boar. That's, That's fine. fine. Unconcerned. And there he yeah. goes. Got him. Can't handle the ladies. Oh, yes, it's ladies' night, and I'm feeling fine. I feel like I need to change my uh, my uh, my icon, dude. I feel like it's not lady enough. And we are running Li Liliana, but Let's I don't know. I think Vivian, Vivian feels right for ladies, even though we're not playing any green. What do you think, Thomas? 
I think you have to run a lady to head up your lady deck. I mean, yeah. it feels weird to have Tezzeret being the man behind it. Uh, yeah, it feels, yeah. you know... Hi, Greg. It just... <laughs> Hey, Alana. You could hey. also just get a man because that reinforces the patriarchy, and we little women don't know what to think. <laughs> that is not what we are about here. I mean, <laughs> at the very least, I would have to go a Johnny. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Alana Goodbye, Duran, man. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we could do a Johnny and do like a pussy thing. No, I, I don't think we want to be that crude. You and know what? No, no. We, we put Jaya Ballard as the helm of our thing oh. because women, old women, are women too, and they need our respect. I love it. We're, they should we're... be able to be head of their squad if that's what they choose to do. Absolutely. We did um, it. She probably earned it after years of putting up with patriarchal bullshit. <laughs> exactly. Bye. Another buy from Alana. <laughs> there it is. I feel this is the perfect matchup. Gideon definitely represents the patriarchy. Yeah. If anyone's going to be oppressive, it's Chad. <laughs> Gideon looks like his name would have really been Chad. So. I think it probably was Chad before he became a planeswalker. Mm-hmm. I mean, that Kithian card said otherwise, but eh, maybe it was just before he became, like, a rebel leader. So this is fun. He's trying to decide what he's going to do, eh? Buddy, you don't have to think this hard. Our deck is bad. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, my dude. There it is. Okay. Not a good hand. At the same time, we do have a turn one or a turn two play and a follow up, and we could draw into something. It's not great though, so I, I'm willing to say if you want to mull, I'm okay with it. I just I feel like I need to see some blue to really be happy with this. Okay, I'm gonna mull again. All right, this is it's worse. worse. This is much worse. This is worse. Hey, we're going to five. Oh God, why is this getting so bad? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, jeez. I did a bad thing. You messed up, bud. We should have kept hand one. Oh, God. We're losing so hard already. Oh, and I'm putting in a tap land. Oh, God. Chris. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna essence gather that. Oh, thank God. We made it. <laughs> First on the board. <laughs> oh, Grixis. Oh, no. He's going to bolus me. Nikki Bolus. Oh, no. Really? Oh, dude? boy. <laughs> really, dude? Really, dude? <laughs> <laughs> really, dude? <laughs> oh, that's just going to be there. Mm hmm. Am I going to get, like, first damage in? That's hilarious. I think you might do. <laughs> That's victory right there. I'm just going to concede after that. I mean, there's less noble ways to go out. Yeah. Got him. And I'm out. Cool. Tight. Oh, God. This Chris! Is, this is so bad. I'm cycling. Hey, it's our old friend. Dan we can't play it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Next turn, though, Tom. <laughs> oh, God. We've made a terrible mistake. First damage in. First damage in. Oh, God. Yeah. You I got greedy, bud. I really did. Um, I just want you to know, I did put this in for old time's sake. Oh, just so that you could make me a little bit sad. <laughs> just so I could remind you of what he, what could have been. Hey, I'm playing Prophetic Prism. Unless I want to, mm -hmm. I think I want to scry. Let's scry. Okay, do it. Essence scatter. Essence scatter. Essence scatter. Essence scatter. 
No essence scatter. There it is. Sweet. All right, so if it's not land, it goes to the back. Um, go. I want that evolving wilds. Oh, he better not have a land. Right? Because if he does, we're getting a... Uh... Oh, no, we've got another turn. Yeah, we, we got... got two turns, my dude. Then the Dauntless Bodyguard is uh, is done. Mm-hmm. This turn, he puts Omen Speaker on there. Says, hey, look at me. You're dead. Scarab God. Oh, oh God, I wanted to cancel that so bad. Yep. Can't do that. That's going to be... Well. This is a fun one. This is not going to go well. Oh, boy. Oh, Jeebus. Put that out there. Let's see what we get. Not terrible. Um, nope. I mean, it's... I, I don't know if... I don't think there's any exiling in this, so... This is just our life right now. Yeah. The best we can do is exclusion mage it next turn and put it back in their hand. Mm-hmm. Cool. Because he does not control any zombies now. Now he kills my bodyguard. Or he just holds that over our head. I mean, if I'm him, I probably hold back on playing Tatsumak. Mm-hmm. Nope. Nope, he goes okay. for it. Sacrifice the bodyguard just because you can. Yep. <laughs> Spite sacrifice. Haha, <laughs> no value. Block with the guy, he's indestructible. Or is he? No, he's not because I have to pick him first. Oh. Yeah. Why? Wait. Oh, that's the two or fewer, not the. Yep. Uh. Yeah. Well. I mean, this is all bad, and I don't think we're winning. No, um, but... I think what we do here is we just... I think we let him attack in with both, and then we flash in the Dire Fleet Poisoner to kill Tatsumak. I think you're right. So, I just leave it. Or no, mm -hmm. I, could put in, I could put in the Sentinel. And no, still you have, couldn't. Yeah, because no, I, so, I have Prophetic uh, Prism. Oh, no. It's that costs cost one, and it just yeah. changes your mana color. God damn it. <laughs> Dumb. So <laughs> dumb. Learn your cards, bro. God damn it. Stupid. Oh, it's okay. See, it's not as good as Rupture Spire. <laughs> Few things are, Chris. It's now here's just the problem the best though. Piece of fixing. Now here's the problem, Tom. He's gonna He's going to just exile it and turn it into zombie Tetsamok. True. Fine. Do it. I don't care. <laughs> ah, but if he turns it into zombie Tatsumak, then it's a token, and we can bounce the token with exclusion mage. Hell yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, shit. Fuck. Is he just gonna use our own bodyguard to protect his Tatsumak? Our ladies are turning on us. Is it our jokes about the patriarchy? Did he, did he choose somebody to become, does he not get that trigger? Um, I don't know. Cause it didn't like pop up. Hmm. It's weird, right? So. I guess let's see what happens. Yeah, let's see what happens. This is fun. Turn up the juice and see what shakes loose. That was unfortunate. 
Did, wait, did he really? Oh, that's bollocks. I didn't even <laughs> see the trigger. I didn't either. God damn. Yeah, so it goes. God I mean, we knew we weren't winning. <laughs> uh, we'll put this here. <gasps> Tom, did we just have the same idea? Yes! <laughs> yes. The yes. only thing that we can possibly do. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, there it is. Um, so we played this out for another body, mm -hmm. and we don't attack, and we just take it, and then we... Uh, can... we, we toss one under the Tatsumak bus. Right. What are we stealing? Are we stealing the Scarab God, or are we stealing... I think we steal Scarab God, because then hmm. we can at least... Start... No, we definitely do. Yeah. And then we just keep on drawing stuff and hope to God that we draw something useful. Mm-hmm. I have... mean, the downside of that is once it dies, it's just going to go back to his hand, but... Yeah, but I... I mean, we do have ways to at least get some benefit off of our Scarab Gods and such, yeah. or the zombies it generates. Yeah, so now we're in a scary position because of... Because of ribbons. Because mm. we can effectively die to ribbons next turn. Or. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So we Little just. Little greedy, buddy. We just do it. But I have to cast that, don't I? Yep. Uh, but we could just choose to never cast it <laughs> and just die. Um. Uh, does it go back to him once he dies? Uh, no, I don't think it does. Oh, wait. Then I think we just block. Uh, leaves the battlefield, you may cast the card as long as it remains exiled, and you may spend... Okay, so, yeah, it stays in for us. Yeah, and then we die. That's fine. But... You know, we did what we could. The important we thing is... We dealt with the Scarab God. Yep, we did. That's a victory. Yep, we, we started. A victory. We started so far behind Tom. I know. Sorry, with Starting time. with one land for the first four turns is uh, no way to get a game going. Right, but I mean, I would call that a victory. We at least didn't look like complete idiots. No, partial idiots at most. Mm-hmm. So this is against the robo-patriarchy. I'm going to say we got to throw this back. Yep, that sounds reasonable. Come on. Land. I'll flood. I don't care. There, that's a good that's one. That's much better. <laughs> I mean, no I mean, creatures, we really... but we've got a treasure map, so I'm happy. Yeah. And, oh. Yep, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Uh, I'm going to play out Short Sword, because I got mana for it. Yep. Yeah, turn one play. Hey. That's what we say. That's what we call playing on curve. Hmm. Look at you knowing the lingo. I actually watched a YouTube video today about slang, but I still, <laughs> didn't, I still didn't hear all the words that I know. So first off, I know what a meme is, Tom. But what is a meme in magic? Huh. You know, I'm not sure. There it I is. imagine it's the same thing as a meme anywhere else, which is just a repeated idea that sort of passes along people. Next question. When is mm -hmm. a card spicy? <laughs> Whenever it's good. Yeah. We're playing yeah, a dragon think... deck, Thomas. Oh, beans. Hey, we're going to start gaining life, though. Uh... Mm -hmm. Put out a sigiled sort of Valerian. Or Valoron. You know what? Sure. Hmm. He doesn't even know we're playing ladies yet. <laughs> well, we've certainly given him no indication of that fact. Alright. Uh, I think... I... I do we want to do that, or do we want to try and actually get a person out and start equipping them up with some stuff? I mean, I suppose, Tom. I suppose. Uh, 
I think pro eh, I mean, How much does it cost to equip the sigiled sword? Three? Uh, three, yeah. But I can okay, do the short then, sword for one. I was thinking this turn we scry with the treasure map, and then next turn we just equip both. Mm -hmm. the, the sword, both swords. I mean, we still have one extra mana up after mm -hmm. we scry. So we can do the sword now, and then the sigil sword Oh, next perfect. Boom, yeah, boom, no, boom. that works. For some reason, I thought the treasure map cost two to activate. But what I'm wanting to know is what what's what is he like holding up? Is he gonna like disallow this or something? Or not uh, in those colors. Uh, I mean, we don't have blue, but uh, Bob, yeah, I'm glad you're here, Tom. Thanks. <laughs> I make decisions whether they're good or not. Is uh, well, that's for someone else to decide. Sure. That's for the YouTube comments to tell us. Dear YouTube comments, please feel free to tell me I'm an idiot. I imagine you already have. There it is. Yup. That's fine. Baited it. <laughs> Got him. Glad we bottomed that, uh, <laughs> that island. That'd feel like a real bad draw right now. Unless we get a blue mana thing right now. Mm. Um, so we'll draw. Do you want to scry? I guess I could have, but you know oh, what? Nope. Never punished. Never didn't have it. Uh, keeping that up there. Well, yeah, I'm keeping it. And then I play this. Yep. And then she, she gets that. I found out, Tom, that this is would be considered a bear. <laughs> because it's a two-two for two. Yep. Well done. You you learned quickly, my Fuck. friend. Fuck. Fucking wow. bringer. Is he gonna exert? Yup. Well okay. Um hmm. Does Exclusion Mage require us to do the thing? Uh maybe. Wait, I can't play it in right now because I don't have a blue no. source. Okay. So I'm putting it up. Alright. Well, now I have a blue source. I hmm. should have thought about that. And if we bounce him, he just plays it again. And kills the exclusion mage. But we how much does the does Sword of Valoran only give plus three, plus zero? It's plus two, plus zero. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah this... then never mind. I think we just leave it. Yeah, I think I in turn. No, don't. We could have played the other sword. Oh, I could have. Tom, I'm sorry. I'm just sorry. I'm very disappointed, Chris. <laughs> There's Sarkin. Cool. Love that Sarkin. Begin. Does Exclusion Mage hit any non-land permanent? Target creature. Damn. <laughs> don't, don't we just want to bounce all hope. the things. He just discarded Chandra. He just mm -hmm. discarded a lady. Motherfucker. I'm I'm loving this uh I'm almost thinking it's time to sack the uh inventor's fair. Well first I think I wanna I wanna draw a card. Hmm. That sounds reasonable. I don't understand why it makes me choose a, a treasure. It's like, they're all treasures, dude. Just pick one. Just pick one. That's good. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not bad. Let's see. Because we could play the Exclusion Mage and then keep that up. But what, would I really want to bounce Glorybringer? Yeah, because then you could counter it with Revolutionary Rebuff. Oh, you motherfucker. You're so so sexy when you do these things. <laughs> yeah, hmm? yeah, let's do that. Oh, goddamn, this is good. Feels good. Yep. It does. And I think we got this. Not doing... Well, I can... You can. I mean, we're going to need one of the... Uh, we're yeah. just going to have treasures anyway. Yeah. And if anything, this just makes us look more shields down, so I'm good with it. Yeah. Mind games, Tom. This feels real good. This is why I play Magic. <laughs> and 
And counter. Nope, it. you bitch. Should have used Sarkin. Got him. Ladies doing it for themselves. And now <sighs> he kills Sarkin. Feel yep. real good. We slap a. We slap that sword on there and get another knight. Yep, a lady knight. And if we can play and equip the forebear's blade just so that if it dies, it goes to somebody just else. keeps passing along, that'd be great. That would be super good. Ooh. Um, so I'm going to... Okay. Okay, so I think in this case, maybe we just play the pioneer. Oh, we can't. Well, I could, I could sack the treasure, which I don't... I, I think I'd rather we just play the forebearer's blade. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're going to kill Sarkon, which I think we definitely want to do. Mm-hmm. Yes. Perfect. This is real good. This feels real good. And then that guy will attack there. Hey, we did some damage. Hey. He's still above where he started, but so are we. Yeah. <laughs> Feels good. Yeah, it's not bad. Survive, survive, survive. I feel like that was a major, major uh, stumbling point for him. Yeah, that, I feel like that was a good turn for us. I'm okay with this. Yeah, do we take the five and just let that happen, or do we I keep our knight? I think so. Because then I can put the Forebear's Blade onto the knight and attack with both. Mm hmm And then either one would kill him? Yeah. All right. I'm good with that. Yeah. I'm going to resolve that. I'm going to decline. Take that. Gain a life. Gain a life back. Draw a card. Hey. There's, Hello. There's our, our pretty bird. Um, I think I hold back and I can flash in Chromium later. Actually, what what's Chromium stats at? 7-7? Seven, seven, seven. Seven? Okay. And hmm. it's a 7, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I would need my treasure for that. Okay. So My only concern is about... Yeah, okay, we we'll do this. <laughs> I like this play. Yeah. All right. Nice. Feels real good. 12 damage. Yep. And they all have Vigilance, so I'm okay with it. God, this is so nice. God, I'm fucking up dragons so good. So now the question is, do we play the... No, we don't play the Aviation Pioneer. I keep falling into that trap. <laughs> nope. We're going to put that on there. And yep. We're going to put that on there. Wait, no, don't... No, oh, no, no, we don't, have, shut up, we don't shut want up. to spend that treasure. Shut up, shut up. Shut up. Never did it. <laughs> Never Didn't did it. happen. And we end. All right. If we get another land, it's going to be Chromium O'Clock very soon. <laughs> Plus, another reason to keep Aviation Pioneer up is that it lets us discard to Hexproof by Chromium. That is nice. Yeah. The other good thing about that is he has unblockable in that mode, so mm -hmm. we can just put all the equipment on him. <laughs> is he unblockable? Yeah. He becomes hexproof. Beca and unblockable, I think. Uh, Base power 1-1, one, one, lose all abilities, gains hexproof, and he can't be blocked. Oh, nice. Yeah. God damn, this is sexy. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Chromium, honorary lady. <laughs> See? It works. Mm. And next turn, we're just gonna make another knight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I gotta re-equip the sigil sword, but that's fine. Like, there's Varix. That's fine. But it's not kicked. Nope. This this feels really good to be like. Oh god damn! I want to play Chromium so bad right now. I think we just equip up and swing in. Yeah, I know. I know. I know it's not the exciting play. And I'm going to... No, not that one. I'm going to do this one for... And put this on the boy. I mean, just in case he wants to be silly. Mm-hmm. Hmm. 
How does he... Does he kill the big boy? He, he must kill the big boy. He doesn't have a choice, right? I mean, he could choose not to block and then just attack back at us, but, but I don't think that's profitable for right, him. That's 10 damage at his face versus 4 damage to back at me. Mm -hmm. That does not seem smart. But he's Especially, thinking about it. There it is. Okay. No, that's that's fine. We do that. We have trample for something. Mm -hmm. There, and that goes there. Sweet. Okay, and then do we just equip him back up? Yeah, bo yeah buddy. All right. Let's just keep that loop going. Yeah, I'm feeling really good about these knights. I'm... I'm impressed. Right? Yeah. I thought about things, dude. <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> There's his red. Cool. Cool. I'm fine with a mana lift. Right. Because I'll have... Yep. Lethal yep. next turn. There didn't, we go. Didn't even have to play Chromium. All right. Ladies doing it for themselves. I feel like this is a good stopping point for this video. All right. I think we can come back and finish this run. Maybe two more parts. Probably one more part. <laughs> yeah, when we inevitably lose the next match out. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to stop this video. The next video will just be two straight losses. All right. So in this case, let's, let's do an outro for this. <laughs> yes. So thank you so much, everybody. Um, Please like and subscribe to our channel. If you like our silly antics, then uh, on your favorite podcasting app, please check out Dog and Thimble. We are there every week. We do silly shenanigans. Uh, on Twitter, Tom, where can they find you? You can find me at PLP underscore Tom. Alana, who snuck in for a minute, can be found at Seraphim Falls. Mm -hmm. I can be found all over the internet as Merkwood Runner, and you can find all of us at Dog and Thimble. You can also email us at mail at Dog and Thimble. Give us a thumbs up. Tell us something nice in the comments, or tell us something that, you know, that we're bad at magic, which we know. But, yeah, say whatever you want. That's why we only play these dumb, dumb bad decks. We have an excuse. Yeah. Well, thank you, everybody, and good night, good day, good whatever. Goodbye. Bye now.